מוזיקה At La Scala in Milan, Daniel Barenboim has been back on the piano stool playing Franz Liszt's piano concertos with the Orchestra Philharmonica. 2011 is the 200th anniversary of the composer's birth and the classical music world has gone down with Litzomania. Musica was invited to film both rehearsals and the concerts themselves and meet the Philharmonica's young, talented guest conductor, Oma Mir Velber. His admiration for Maestro Barenboim dates back to his childhood. Barenboim is someone that, as a child, um, I remember even planning our family, family, uh, uh, how to say, trips to Europe by his concerts. You know, because I was, <laughs> I was completely, okay, let's go to Paris because Barenboim is there. Let's go to Munich. And then obviously becoming his assistant and even more, even more than an assistant, being, uh, having the opportunity to be next to someone like him um, is something that, that changed your life completely. Um, music, I mean, I'm talking about music, I'm talking about politics, I'm talking about a lot of other things. To have a maestro is something that makes a lot of difference. Then he's very, very generous. So as an assistant, you, if you want, you can have everything. You will study, you will learn, he will, he will give you a lot of time. You know, you can be a protege, but eventually you are the one who stands in front of the orchestra. <laughs> Um, and, uh, and now, at least in this experience, it's, it's even better because I'm the one who in front of the orchestra, but I have him here. So, you know, every time, like you said, he can give you tips, he can, he can say something that changes completely the, the atmosphere of the piece. And this is beautiful, you just have to be quiet and, and, and learn. To, to, to try and make him and the orchestra as close as possible. Actually, a lot of these things come naturally because the moment that the pianist starts to play and you feel immediately some kind of articulation, it changes immediately also the, the next bar of the orchestra because, you know, they listen and they see. Um, and on the other hand, there are things that you have to, to create, some kind of uh, uh, atmosphere here, articulation here, this is too loud. I want him to be as much as possible in a homogenic environment. Like he says all the time, that everybody will think the same. It doesn't matter what, what each one does, but we all think the same. We all have the same... And I'm not there yet completely, eh? he is obviously, but, uh, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> 